Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I want to talk about the state of using AI art specifically from a commercial standpoint. Are you allowed to? Are you not allowed to? What's the deal? There's been a lot of talk recently if you're allowed to use commercial AI, uh, excuse me, AI art for commercial purposes. And the answer is yes and no. You have to understand that this is not art that is legally copyrightable or trademarkable. And I'll explain what I mean by that, okay? In the world of art, if you were to sit down and you were to create a piece of art that was custom to you, okay? The law, and I'm no lawyer, so don't even like sit here and, and claim that I'm a lawyer, but uh, the law basically states that everybody is inherently protected by their efforts. Meaning, let's just say, and this is not just art, like a drawing, but this is, could be also a song or a video. If I was to create a video, okay, of a commercial for a product that I'm selling, right, and I was to post it on YouTube, and then somebody else takes that video and re-uploads it and try to make money off of it themselves, I can legally get it taken down, without necessarily a court of law, because I can prove that it was mine. It was originally uploaded on my end, I created it, etc. Okay? Art is the same way. If I create a piece of art, and I sell it on my own website, and somebody steals it, and tries to put on their t-shirts for sale, I can get their website taken down, or at least their t-shirt taken down, and they can't sell that t-shirt. But what you cannot do with AI is you can't do that because that's not it, these images are not copyrightable. Now, let's get into the concept of how do they find out if the image is produced by AI. So first of all, to be clear, there's a lot of myths out there. You can figure out if an image is produced with AI. In fact, its accuracy is like over 99%. The reason why is, first of all, two reasons, okay? The first reason, which is very, very specific, is because each image has a seed, okay? And that seed image is essentially, okay, a seed. It's a starting point. It references what assets the image used to be able to create that image, okay? So, for example, one time I told the AI to create me a sticker, I gave it certain parameters, I gave it certain ideas, and the sticker, when it came out, it had this pattern on it that was very similar to Redbubble's uh, watermark pattern, and that watermark pattern was found on Redbubble.com's website. There's no other website in the world that has the same watermark pattern, but yet, it used it. Now, the reason why I'm saying this and the reason why I'm, I'm even mentioning this is because when AI art is produced, it's pulling data from the Internet. It's pulling data from somewhere, from its storage, uh, I guess you could say, buckets. And that storage buckets are the Internet and its understanding of particular said image. So if I say sticker, white background, etc., it will locate images that have those similar characteristics, and it will create based on that in a matter of seconds. That's why AI art is so powerful. But the problem with that is, okay, you're pulling data from resources that you don't have ownership over, which is exactly why it's not copyrightable. A lot of people think it's not copyrightable or trademarkable simply because you are not the one drawing it or not the one creating it and that's not necessarily the case because if I was to hire an artist in real life and they would draw something for me and I can copyright or trademark that the answer is I can absolutely do that because I can hire an artist to do that for me so it's not about who created it it's about where the data is being pulled where the where the uh, where the information is being pulled okay that's the most important thing that's why it's not fully trademarkable. So for example, okay, if I was to, for example, create this image and it was a human being that created it, okay, not, not, uh, uh, you know, a machine, it was a human being and I hired that human being to create the art for me and they gave it to me and they sent it to me and then I use it as my logo. That is art that is trademarkable in that case or copyrightable. Now, 
you have to realize as well the cost of chasing after people that steal your work, okay? So let's just say you create art, all right? And this AI art is all over your website. If people copy it and put it on their own website, the first thing you're going to have to realize is you don't have a legal standing on behind taking their work down. But let's just say even if you did, okay, and it was created through AI art, you have to think about the time, the cost, and the effort for it to be taken down because you're not going to do this for one resource or two resources. You're going to do this for tens, hundreds, and thousands, if anything, because it's much easier for people to steal now, okay? Also, what you have to keep in mind is that there's actually less theft going to be going on because more people are going to be creating content through AI, right? AI now has decreased the cost to create 10 out of 10 star art, like five out of five stars, like perfect, right? Amazing art at the cost of relatively nothing. I mean, if you pay 50 bucks for a membership, 60 bucks for a membership, 100 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, whatever the number is, it's still relatively nothing. If I was to go out there and hire an artist to sit here and create an art like this for me, an image like this, realistically speaking, the amount of time that it would take them, the amount of experience that they would have, all this kind of stuff, it would take them, I mean, I would have to pay thousands and thousands of dollars, especially if I was going to trademark it and, and use it from a, from a commercial standpoint. But AI art doesn't do that. But the thing that's interesting about AI art is that you are legally allowed to use it for commercial purposes. So if I was to take this art and I was to slap it on a canvas and I was to sell it, I'm allowed to do that because it doesn't have the ownership over. However, there is a contingency. As long as my art doesn't impede on a true copyrighted or trademarked other item. So for example, if the computer, when the AI, when the AI created this image, pulled data from some source, from some unknown source out there, if it pulled data from that to create it, right? And that data didn't belong to me then I legally cannot use that image, right? Because it deals with other people's information. I'll give you an example. Let's take this image, okay? Where is it here? Let's take this image. If in this image, I take this image and I add in the prompt Scarlett Johansson, and it changes the body and the face to represent Scarlett Johansson's likeness. Well, I don't own Scarlett Johansson's likeness. I don't have the rights to it. But if I take it, and I post it on commercially usable items, such as a canvas, or I sell the image, or even if I'm selling it on Etsy, I'm in the red there. I'm doing wrong there because I don't have ownership over those elements, okay? And regardless if the AI created it or not, that doesn't mean I have the right to use it. In the same way, if I, let's just say, the New York Giants, if I created a New York Giants logo with my hand and put it on a t-shirt and started these selling, selling these t-shirts worldwide on my website, the New York Giants have the legal right to take it down because I don't have legal right to sell that logo in its likeness, even if it is not the same logo, even if I drew it by hand, okay? That's important. So it's not about who created it. It's not about even how it was created, but it, it represent, it's what's important is where is the data being pulled from, okay? Now, there are tools out there to figure out where your data is being pulled from when an image is created, okay? Um, there's so many different things, and I'm not talking about image Google reverse search because it's not more, it's not powerful enough. But the first thing you have to realize is that when an AI art image is created, that image can be scanned, and it can have a correlating seed, so if you think that you're going to create art and you're going to steal from people, okay, and you're going to steal things that you don't have the right to steal, meaning, for example, if I create a Scarlett Johansson image, right, off of this style and sell it, Scarlett Johansson has the legal capability to come after me from a standpoint, even if it was created by AI art, it does not matter. That is her likeness, her image, her body, etc. Okay, so... What you have to focus on is where is the data being pulled from? This is why not every single image created through AI art is suitable to be made. 
for example, in my in my Redbubble free course video, okay, which was a free course that we put here on YouTube, I had created like a Batman and a Superman image and a Hulk image. Those are images, even though they're great and they have nothing to do with the copyright necessarily, I legally don't have the right to use them because the whole likeness of that character is trademarked, right? The Hulk is trademarked by Marvel. The, you know, uh, Batman is trademarked. D DC Comics. Uh, all these things are trademarked and, and, and copyrighted. And even if I'm using something in the likeness of it, I cannot do it, okay? So you want to keep that in mind, all right? With every image that you're creating, where is the data being pulled from? What does it, does the image have the likeness of something that it should not represent? These are things you have to keep in mind when you create your art. This is why a lot of the artists were coming up in the game with the AI art complaining that it's theft because the AI is, is stealing components of their artwork, right? So, for example, if I have different names of of artists in my prompt that data can be pulled using the seed technology i can pull that and i can understand what kind of names were used here and if it just so happens that if i was an artist and somebody is selling art with my likeness of the characteristics that i created in my art and i could prove that they used my name in their seed that's a big problem for them and that's going to cost them a lot of money in these next few years, there's going to be a lot of people who don't know this information, and they're going to use and abuse this system. And unfortunately, they're going to be paying a hefty, hefty price for that. And copyright and trademark laws are no easy task to deal with. Just to put things into consideration, somebody I personally know, I've, I've said his story before, I'm not going to say his name anymore, but <clears throat> he was in a lawsuit to where somebody or he found the image on Google and used it on his website. This was just one image, okay? And he was and the person who did this, okay? He did this was his business. He puts images on Google, he waits for people to download them and use them, and then he sends them a cease and desist and he sues them. And he sues them for over 30k. 30k a hit. And that's his business. That's what he does, right? And unfortunately, this person that I knew was a victim of that. But you can't really say the word, unfortunately, you could say maybe he got what he deserved simply because he was using resources he didn't have the ownership over. So whenever you do something, it's better to at least this is what I'm learning now is pay the price up front, pay the price up front so you don't pay the price later. And I know sometimes it's hard. I, you can't really blame everybody for their situations, but it's hard to figure it out. But with AI art, you have to make sure 100% that you are not impeding on anybody's rights. You're not doing something that's going to take credit away from somebody else because you will be hurting yourself in the long run. This technology is not going to get worse. It's only going to get better. And you want to make sure you stay as safe as possible. All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. And peace out. Bye.